how is it possible that this more or less, you know, regional organization or regional association, very loose association of countries that are not really powerful, not really that wealthy, are able to play this kind of uh, convening role that we have? Well, um, thank you very much, uh, Ibu. And um, I, I think the answer to your question is uh, extremely important. And I'm not suggesting that I'm able to actually provide a satisfactory answer. But uh, it is important for us to be able to recognize how is it that ASEAN got to the place where it is just now, uh, how it has mattered, uh, it has transformed the relationship between countries of Southeast Asia from one of uh, enmity to one of amity, it has transformed the place of uh, Southeast Asia within the wider region uh, from essentially being objects of great power, great power rivalries to where it is just now. Uh, but at the same time, while recognizing uh, the achievements that ASEAN has made all these decades, I, really, I think it's extremely important for us not to have a sense of uh, self-complacency, uh, uh, that we have to recognize uh, the progress that we have been able to make in the past has been earned. Uh, it is something that ASEAN had to work hard for, uh, that simply hasn't been presented to us. And that is why the answer to your question, what are the type of qualities that we had, we had been relying upon in the past is even more important today amidst the kind of changes that we are seeing, the geopolitical changes, the geoeconomic transformations, et cetera. I think, I mean, obviously there would be quite a few qualities that's important. Uh, one quality certainly is one of unity, uh, ASEAN unity and cohesion. But by saying unity here, I think, we, should, we are not uh, looking for uniformity uh, because ASEAN strength lies in its, in its diversity, uh, in its uh, unity in diversity. That's our national motto. Uh, by giving to cite an example, for instance, uh, often it is often said that ASEAN countries have uh, such a, uh, differences on, on their views on uh, geopolitical development. Some are closer to Washington, others to Beijing, etc., etc. But in the past, uh, we have been able to utilize these differences or variations as a source of our strength uh, so that we can have a multifaceted and multidirectional uh, uh, foreign policy uh, external outlook, so to speak. Now, how can we continue to, uh, to develop uh, that sense of cohesion amidst our diversity is extremely important, I think. And not least of all, uh, just two qualities that I wanted to mention, it's a sense of confidence in ourselves that we can effect change. Uh, there is a risk, uh, in my view, uh, not only on the one hand, a sense of complacency and self-celebration, uh, and at the same time, a, a sense that we are becoming increasingly inward. ASEAN has strived in the past uh, by But Martin, we, we can go to the negative later on. I, yes, I, I yes. want to focus on Go the ahead. good things first, okay? Please, please. Yeah, uh, we can, because uh, usually there's a lot of also weaknesses yes. that we need to cover. But